Welcome, 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 and welcome to Miss Fitness's podcast. I am your host, Sheree Miss Fitness Jones, and on this episode, I will be discussing why cardio is important. I find that a lot of people that I run into that want to, you know, just new to the gym or have been working out in the gym that um, do not understand the importance of cardio and try to avoid it um, and they hate it. Let me explain this. Uh, The word cardio comes from cardiovascular. And when cardiovascular is mentioned, it is basically talking about your heart and your blood vessels. And in order to keep your heart and blood vessels healthy, you have to do exercises that strengthen them. And the type of exercises that strengthen them are exercises that bring your heart rate up. And when your heart rate is up, it is pumping extra food and oxygen to your muscles, which is extremely beneficial towards your body. And all of this is important because... um, It increases the blood flow through your muscles. It increases lung volume, which means that each breath absorbs more oxygen, which means a quicker supply of oxygen and removal of waste substances. All right. So these are just some of the reasons as to why cardio is necessary. So as I stated, a lot of people think cardio is just to lose weight when it's not. Like I said, it's to Keep your heart healthy. Um, I'm going to share with you some awesome cardiovascular exercises because a lot of people get bored with the traditional walking or running. Some people don't like to run, but there are tons and tons of forms of cardio besides walking and running. All right, for instance, one of them, which happens to be one of my favorites, uh, are the elliptical trainers. Um, It's extremely low impact. It works both your arms and your legs, and you can move at your own pace. You don't have to go fast. You'll sometimes catch people on the elliptical, and they're getting it because they've been doing it for a while, you know? But if you're just getting started, take your time. Don't crank the resistance up. Start at level one and just start moving. Put on your little favorite playlist or watch your little favorite TV show. And before you know it, a half an hour has went by. And your heart rate is up and you got a little uh, nice little cardiovascular exercise on the elliptical. I like the elliptical because I like the fast movements. I like it. I like moving my arms and my legs. I put a good playlist on and I'm going. So that's one of the reasons why I love the elliptical. Uh, Biking is also another great form of cardio. You'll be able to burn about 500 to 1,000 calories um, per per hour depending on your speed. Now, the great thing about biking is that you can either do it at a gym or you can get a stationary bike for your home and do it at home, you know, while surrounded by your family, watching TV, listening to music, whatever. Or if you want, you can go outside and bike outside. So... It gives you a little variety when it comes to biking. And that happens to be uh, on the low impact side of cardiovascular exercises as well. Now, jumping rope is also another form of cardio. But this one is a little more on the high impact side. Uh, If you have more experience with high impact exercises, this is probably the exercise for you. Now, with this one, you could burn a lot of calories in a short amount of time. And also, the great thing about jumping rope is it's an inexpensive, inexpensive way to provide cardiovascular routines in between other routines that you're doing. So, like, you could be doing 60 seconds jumping rope, and then you could drop down and do push-ups, then jump back to do 60 seconds of jumping rope, or do a uh, Russian twist. You know, you can mix and match, and all of that will continue to... Keep your heart rate up. So if you like high impact exercises, uh, jumping rope is great. It's a great form of cardio to incorporate in your exercise routine. Another one is swimming. Swimming is extremely easy on the joints. Um, very, very, very low impact. And the, the resistance that you get from the water uh, provides toning for your muscles. 
without you having to use heavy weights and it be too much on your joints, especially for people who have arthritis, you know, knee problems and things like that. This is the exercise for you. Now, I'm no swimmer whatsoever. I can't swim, but I love the water and I love to do exercises in the water as well. You know, I just stay, you know, my feet or under. I don't go above five feet because like I said, I can't swim, but you know, I can still do whatever exercises I want in the water and still get my heart rate up and have a cardiovascular exercise done in the water, even though I can't swim. But if you love the water and you're a great swimmer, even if you're not a great swimmer, this is the exercise for you if you have joint problems, knee problems, anything like that. And also, if you love the water and have access to a pool. So if you have access to a pool, I say do it. Now here's another one that's a huge stress reliever. If you're having a bad day, you know, everybody got on your nerves or you might have just had too much coffee and got all this energy and need to let loose. Excuse me, kickboxing is where it's at. Um, you can do it at home or you could join a class for inspiration that will keep you motivated. So not only does this activity allow you to bring your heart rate up and gives you a cardiovascular workout, but it teaches you self-defense training. So you get the workout and get your heart rate up and learn how to kick people's butt at the same time. But only use it when necessary. You know, nonviolent. Let's not do that. And now here's probably, this is one of my favorites too. I know I done said a lot was my favorites, but this is my thing right here. Zumba. Zumba has become so broad and everybody's doing it. And most women love it. A lot of people are like, well, I don't know all the moves or whatever. I can't keep up. The more you do it, the easier it'll get. I used to teach Zumba, um, but I stopped because I had got pregnant with my son. But I also learned that taking Zumba and teaching Zumba is completely different. Having to remember every move and then making sure that your energy is as high enough to keep the class's attention. Um, It's pretty draining. But when you take the class, you can move however you want. It doesn't matter if you're doing the perfect move or if you're doing exactly like the instructor what matters is that you're moving your heart rate is up you don't have to be on beat you don't have to look like the instructor just have fun listen to that music and I remember like being in class like oh my goodness 45 minutes is here already or even if the class is 60 minutes 60 minutes is here already because I was having so much fun dancing the instructor was great one of my favorite instructors her name is Tracy Vincent that's my girl. She used to kill it. But, um, and we used to love her class. And I used to be like, oh my God, class is over. But that's another great form of cardio as well. Um, and if you have never taken a Zumba class yet, I highly recommend it. You'll have a great time. And I just want to encourage you to please don't be discouraged because you do not know the moves. Because nobody knows the moves when they first go there. But after, I'm telling you about six times of being there, you'll be up there with the instructor. And she may forget a move and you may know the next move. But when you continue to do it, you'll love it. And it's a huge stress reliever and you'll have a good time. I'm telling you, it's like having a little party. Now, I know this uh, exercise is one of the more common ones is walking. This is the uh i would say sort of the beginner um style of cardiovascular exercises if you can't do any of the exercises i name walking is uh probably what's best for you i would say about 30 minutes you know um at your own pace or a little and you can speed it up just a little bit just to get your heart rate up and 30 minutes of your day like i said i don't even think that's 15 percent of your day now, I want to talk about my all-time favorite. This is my number one. Now, I know I said a lot of these were my favorite, but this one right here, if you ask anybody that know me, they know I love to run. Uh, running has to be like one of the most popular cardiovascular workouts. Not to mention it's 
free. If um if the weather permits, you could run outside, you could run at home and run in place, you could run on a treadmill at a gym. Um, and it's just so therapeutic. For all my runners, they all can vouch for this that you get a runner's high after a certain point of running. For me, after running one mile, now I got my runner's high and I'm going and it's like I forget that I'm running. And it's like you become one with the exercise and you got your music on and it just feels like you're on a cloud. It feels so great. And I usually do about three to five miles when I run. And I try to do that maybe between two to three times a week, depending on my goals, because I I am always setting goals for myself. You know, I just gave birth a little over a year ago to my third child. So I still have some work to do on my body. So I'm always setting new goals to, you know, continue to progress. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Um, But yes, I'm always setting goals to continue to progress. But even when I don't have any physical goals for myself, you will always catch me running. For one, because I know that cardio is important. I know I need to keep my heart healthy. You know what I'm saying? I need to keep my, my lungs healthy, my arteries healthy. So it's very, 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 very important. And when you keep those things healthy, you avoid, avoid you know, heart attacks or heart disease. You're least likely to have those things happen to you if you're keeping up with a healthy heart. If you're working on, you know, exercising to have a healthier body. Now, you'll get some people who do not like to do long distance running. But that's when you could do sprints if you want to get like a quick burn. Um... And still burn calories, sprints is good for that. You can do maybe like 10 to 20 sprints and that will be a good cardiovascular exercise as well. You just have to make sure that you do some dynamic stretching and be get very careful how often you do it to avoid shin splits. Because that is very high impact and a lot of pounding. So you want, definitely want to take it easy when it comes to sprinting and make sure you're taking care of your muscles and doing dynamic stretching before and then you stretch after. Um, and if you are a little sore, Epsom salt for me has been a miracle worker. You put that in a tub with some hot water. Um, like I said, just make sure you're stretching too. And within a few days, you should be fine. Um, this will help avoid injury. Uh, but that's all about the cardiovascular exercises I can think of for now. Because, of course, you know what? My podcast is to deliver fitness information in 15 minutes or less. Um, now that I've ran through um, the many forms of cardio that you can do, let's get to it and keep that heart healthy. Like I said, you can always catch me on Instagram at MissFitness84. That is M-S underscore F-I-T-N-E-S-S 84. And if you would like a feature or would like me to talk about a particular subject, you can always email me at MissFitnessJones84 at gmail.com. That's M-S F-I-T-N-E-S-S J-O-N-E-S 84 at gmail.com. Everyone have a wonderful day and please, please, please remember keep that heart healthy. Don't hit.